pilot's face is down. I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move in a little bit just so we can get in here. I'm gonna change my brush size just a little bit so I have, I have a little bit more control over what I'm drawing. So now I'm just just again stay loose and rough. Okay, the pilot's head is down. It's gonna be tucked back behind the console, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to read right now, but I'm just gonna draw it in so I know where it's going. He's got those goggles on. Okay, the goggles that I used are welding goggles. Um, if you, you know, use what you have for reference. Okay, so this character's face, I need to move this up, hold down the, the space bar. If you want to move things up and down, it'll give you a little hand tool. And then face is here. He's got his helmet on, which is going to move around his jaw like this. Now we got that full helmet. Can it be loose and rough and messy and that kind of stuff? Hell yes. Uh, let's just keep it as messy as possible, but still be able to see what we need to see. Shoulder is going to be right in through here. Understand your proportions, that kind of stuff. Okay, so now that character's head is in here like this. We can drop this back. Um, if there are, if it is, if you can't handle it being really messy, then you can you can erase some of this stuff. Okay, as long as there's enough information in here to get across. Okay, so really, um, I've, I've come across students who they want to make each drawing the most beautiful drawing that they've ever done, and it ends up taking forever and they don't finish. Um, and I think the really important thing here is to be able to, to say we need to finish this it needs to come to an end we need to start to see where it goes and I find that if you can just see the motion if you can just see the character performing and understand what that character is going to do it's easier to get going whoops I made this slide out of shot again okay here we go so now that character's head is up so now I can make some corrections my eraser tool is on so I'm going to click B um, so now I'm just going to come back in. I'm going to say, okay, I've got this character's head that's here. I like to use simple shapes. I'm going to come around the jaw. And then we get into the jaw. That's going to be right in through there. Face is here so we can get into that nose, which is going to be in through here. So we can see the edge of the nose. Goggles. I'm going to move around. I'm going to be able to see the goggle. And then it moves around the back of the head. Got the goggles on this side. Helmet, I'm going to move around, come to the, the jawline. Now the head is up. We can see the collar of the jacket that he's wearing. And we can get into the shoulder. It's going to be right in there. I'll hide this layer so we can see these. Uh, what's going on. We can drop down into his neck, which is here, and then get into around the rest of the jacket. The shoulder is going to move out over here. Again, loosen up. I'm going in you know baby steps to be able to see where i'm going but you should be able to see now with the onion skinner on how that character is going to work so you can actually start to see the helmet the helmet arc that's happening in there okay so helmet arc he's going to come up uh, and then he'll do his breath which should be another key and that key well, let's put that key like right here so we could actually see We'll insert a uh, blank key. Oh, you know, he's got his cheeks are kind of puffing out. Maybe his mouth is out here like that. The chin's going to drop down a little tiny bit. And now I can get that nose back in there. Redraw. Head goes back. So it hasn't moved very much. You can actually have it rise a little tiny bit. And there's another thing that you can do. The one thing that's cool about using flash is you don't have to redraw everything I mean obviously I could have just taken this and just cut out something but I kind of want to head have the head move so again um, shoulders are gonna come out so we can see here's the goggles here like that and there's the top of the helm so now I've got the shape so I want that head to come in just a little bit higher because we're, I'm just going to click L for my selection tool uh, if you have stuff that's selected, you don't want it selected, it's Control shift a So I'm just going to raise this head up. Come here. Raise that head up a little tiny bit. You can hit Q. Rotate this guy's head. And then I'll just bump it up just a little bit. 
don't hit return because that'll make it play again. So then you can call it control shift A. So the head's going to come up a little tiny bit. So you can see it moving. I'll turn off onion skin so it might be a little bit easier for you to see. But boom, boom. Oh, it's going to blow out some air here. Again, very loose, very rough, just enough to be able to show the details. Okay, I mean the, not the details, sorry, not the details, the main stuff, the biggest points of the action. Okay. Next drawing, or next key, is going to happen where I put my storyboard. Um, and I kind of want it to be over just a little bit more. I'm just going to move it over. So I'm going to actually change the time. And why am I working within this timing? Why can't I just do whatever I want? Um, I guarantee you that you, if you get into animation, no matter what kind of animation you're going to do, um, you will be given a shot and that shot will be timed out or you'll be given a sequence and it'll be timed out perfectly or exactly to the main um, movie. And if you go over time, I've had to work on stuff that was like 14 frames. OK, and then my producer even came in and said, oh, yeah, well, we need to change this scene to uh, nine frames. So just give me a close up or something. And you're like, oh, really? And then you spent all this time trying to make it a moat and do all these cool things. And then it turns out that it's only nine seconds, which is just over half a second and it's like well, okay whatever um but that'll happen a lot you don't want to like keep pushing time out well i want this to be you know i want him to emote and start to sing right there it doesn't happen that way okay if you're making your own movie yeah that's cool but if you are making your own movie it's still good to know your timing otherwise you're never gonna finish okay so i'm gonna insert another blank keyframe here i'm gonna hit b and turn on my onion skin just to see where i was now this stuff his body it's going to be all in the same spot. Okay. But he's going to turn his head. So I'm going to have his head turn over here like that. Just want to make sure I'm in the right space. Mm, I kind of want to make his head turn away like his neck kind of extends. Oh my gosh. You know, there's, there's machine guns over there. So I'm going to make his head turn again, be as loose as you can. Goggles going to be over here. I know where the nose is and stuff. I might see a little bit of the nose. Be able to see the chin here come up into the mandible. There's the jaw. I'm just going to be right through here. And then technically the ear, the ear would be right here, but that's part of the helmet now. It's, or it's hidden by the helmet. So I can see how this is going to move up over and I can actually see that neck kind of extend. Um, if you, if it's drawing too small or if you're drawing, if you feel like your drawing is, needs to change size and you can go back and you can change the size of it. That's another nice thing about working with digital media is it's like boom you can make quick corrections rather than have to redraw the whole thing okay um so let's go back and add that neck is there he's kind of he's extending his neck uh oh and then you can see the the lapels of his jacket he's laying back over there i think that's a little far away so i'm going to go back and I'll, bring this back to bring it back down a little tiny bit just slide it back down there okay a will make it deselect i'm just gonna make that taller just so i can when i come back i can get that in there and so then just by doing that you can see the character goes up gets to that key here i'll turn off my onion ski goes up gets to the key blows out turns his head okay so now with everything else turned off i can see that i have these different moments here okay um does it need fixing yeah it needs fixing but at least we have a little bit of motion so if you hit turn return we can see it start to happen okay we can see it start to animate um now again once you draw in the shoulders here it's all right if you leave it on its own layer and we're not going to do anything with it. I tend to like to redraw everything um, just so, so I know where it's going. You can see this is kind of going out. That's where we were talking about breathing and that kind of stuff. So you always can come back in and you can um, you can change the size of brushes and stuff. And so I'm just going to kind of take that stuff away. Um, uh, make sure that when you go back to your, your brush, that's the size that you want it to, to be. So we can see him behaving. Then 
The next step, of course, would be to start to in between. Although, I would recommend you at least rough in your shots. Some of you have some pretty complex shots. Um, some of you might think you have easy shots, but they're actually pretty complex. I would recommend you lay in your keys roughly so that you can see the motion, you can understand the timing, and then come back in in a later pass and start to put in your in-betweens. Okay. For now, that's where we're gonna we're gonna leave this just nice and rough. Everything is loose and rough. That only took a few minutes to be able to drop that in. Um, keep it loose and rough. Um, that's two passes of mine. Like I said, everything's better in five passes. So this is just two passes on mine. So where did we start in review? Uh, we started with our boards. Okay, I'm gonna turn these guys off. We started with our boards that were timed. Okay, um, I did change the size of my board so that it, it was closer to my uh, final output size, but it's still, I still have all this extra stuff in here. Okay, and then the next pass that I did was I started to lay in just roughly where I wanted the, the motion to be. Okay, so that's, that's my gesture. Okay, so gesture drawing, 10 seconds gets enough information in there, okay? I'm hiding that and hiding my boards, I get into where I actually wanna to start to see the animation, okay?